we are today talking about um, a recent paper that um, our group has um, published entitled Metabolic Reprogramming of Glioblastoma Cells by L. Asparaginase Sensitizes for glio sensitizes for apoptosis in vitro and in vivo. Um, the authors um, are Georg Kappel uh, Masler, Dorentina Ramani, Cheng Shu, uh, Mark Eric Hallach, Mike Andrew Westhoff, Jeffrey and Bruce, Peter Canole, and uh, myself, uh, Marcus Siegelin. I'm um, an assistant um, professor of pathology and cell biology at uh, Columbia University. I have a um, basic research laboratory at this institution and my main um, research um, focus here is on glioblastoma and the elucidation of uh, novel um, treatments by specifically targeting um, apoptosis um, signaling. So my name is um, George Carpel Masler. I am an assistant clinical professor at the Department of Pathology and Cell Biology at Columbia University, and I'm working with Mark Sieglin on um, developing novel therapeutic approaches against cancer. And as a neurosurgeon, I very early on in my career experienced um, patients suffering from terrible diseases um, of the brain and diseases where there is not much to do about. Glioblastoma is the most um, common primary brain tumor in adults and even though one tries hard to help patients suffering from this disease, perform surgery, radiotherapy and chemotherapy, the majority of um, patients with this disease do not survive much longer than one and a half years after diagnosis. So in our work we examined a new therapeutic approach tackling tumor cell protein metabolism combined with pro agents in a multi-targeting approach and um, Marcus is going to touch on the thought behind that and um, our findings. So glioblastoma, um, as um, Georg pointed out, is a highly malignant um, disease and one of the hallmarks is also the um, heterogeneity and the fact um, that uh, multiple pathways are active or overtly active um, in these um, tumors, which um, suggests that um, for efficient therapeutic targeting, you would need um, multiple lines um, of therapy. And as he pointed out, um, we followed um, that strategy here in our um, research paper and um, addressed <laughs> essentially the heterogeneity that um, is found in these uh, neoplasms. And um, our treatment um, approach um, targets um, apoptosis. And apoptosis uh, mainly consists of um, two commonly known um, pathways, which is the extrinsic and the intrinsic um, apoptotic um, pathway. And in this um, paper, we have focused on the intrinsic um, apoptotic um, pathway by utilizing um, a novel class of um, drug compounds um, called um, BA3 mimetics that um, target the BCL2 family um, of proteins. And in particular, um, these um, reagents, um, we focused on ABT263, <laughs> which is uh, an orally um, available um, BH3 mimetic that targets um, BCL2, BCLX long, and BCLW, but not um, the um, other um, or one of the other anti apoptotic uh, molecules, which is called um, MCL1. And um, essentially, by interference um, with um, protein synthesis, um, 
through um, L-asparaginase. What we found is that um, L-asparaginase potently suppressed um, protein levels of um, MCL1 in um, a variety of um, glioblastoma cells, which then in turn um, enables um, the BH3 mimetic ABT263 to act efficiently on these glioblastoma cells and to overcome apoptotic um, resistance in these cells and to lead to massive um, cell death. And um, aside from that, what we also found is that um, L-asparaginase is not only um, regulating MCL1, it also regulates a, an interacting protein um, of MCL1, which is called <coughs> USP9X. And um, by downregulating um, USP9X, um, you have a further, um, even more efficient effect on MCL1 levels with almost a complete um, disappearance of MCL1 levels, facilitating um, the pro-apoptotic effects of um, the BH3 mimetic ABT263. Um, um, we also um, went on um, further, in fact, to demonstrate that this observation um, of combined treatment of ABT263 and L asparaginase is not only limited to a cell culture in vitro setting. Moreover, we um, showed that um, this combination is um, also rather effective in an in vivo model of um, glioblastoma. And um, in our um, in vivo model system, we observed essentially that the combination treatment of ABT263 and L asparaginase even led to a, de a regression of um, the um, tumors, which suggests that um, this uh, potential treatment strategy uh, might have um, additional um, implications and. Um, Further studies, in fact, even in patients, might be uh, necessary to validate whether this um, treatment approach might be um, useful in patients. And um, on a side note, um, L-asparaginase um, is a reagent, a compound that is currently used um, and is a, and is a um, established um, treatment for acute lymphoblastic um, leukemia in various um, therapies, in particular in combination therapies. And so ABT263, on the other hand, as well, um, has reached um, clinical trials. So it is conceivable that um, these two reagents might be tested in glioblastoma patients. Yes, that would be, of course, the ultimate goal to um, take this approach into a clinical trial and um, hopefully this will turn out into a significant benefit for patients because that is our ultimate goal to help patients who need patients suffering from devastating disease. That's why we wake up in the morning, that's why we go to the lab, that's why we go to the hospital, that's um, what's driving us. We also, um, of course, um, will, will try to identify certain biomarkers that might uh, particularly predict um, which patients uh, might uh, benefit from um, such a therapy. And we know already from our data presented in our paper that unfortunately not every glioblastoma cell culture will be sensitive to L asparaginase. And um, we are also currently in the process of identifying um, factors that predict um, the response to um, L asparaginase. And um, this will be also um, be covered in um, in the future work that we are 
um, conducting. In summary, we have provided um, a potential framework for a um, clinical trial of um, BA3 mimetics and L asparaginase for um, patients suffering from a malignant glial neoplasm. So, so it's our um, expectation that um, our research will influence other researchers to pick up our major findings and to continue and to further develop the work we have um, created and demonstrated in our paper. Which will ultimately, hopefully, um, turn out to be beneficial for patients who are in desperate need for a better therapy. Mm -hmm.